Hey Scorpios, I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. All right, guys, so I have another general message for you guys. So please only take your resumes, leave a dozen. If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name is Tasha and I represent Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. I am a fellow Scorpio myself. You can have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The reading can resonate with you, okay? All right. Let's jump into this reading. And of course, if you are returning, welcome back. Spirit, angels, and guides, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oh. All right. What do we have for Scorpio? Oh, something's in my eye, guys. Hang on. Oh, bye. What do we have for Scorpio? What's this energy? Overall energy for Scorpio. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, low vibrational energies away from my channel, my space. Return the energy back to sender tenfold. So more to be. Amen and amen. All right. So first card that came out was apology. Someone is wanting to apologize to you, Scorpio. They're hoping that they can get your forgiveness. Tell me more. All right, so we have the truth and expression. So someone is wanting to express themselves, express some type of forgiveness, that they're sorry here with the apology card and expression. So someone looks like they're ready to speak their truth. Hmm, okay. Tell me about this apology. Clarify apology. And of course, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? All right, so we have comfort zone. Which is in the south node clinging. Hmm. Well, I'm getting like someone is wanting to apologize for being a little too comfortable in their south node. Someone is being a little too clingy. Oh, we have limitations and rejections at the bottom of the deck here. Someone fears that you're going to reject them. And the limitation, the fear, this is the nine of swords energy in tarot. So someone is worried all up in their head. They're being haunted by the memories of you. Yeah, someone here wants to bring you a love offer. They want to communicate with you, send you a message. Wow. Mm. What is truth? Clarify truth. All right, so someone wants to take action to have a new beginning. Okay. Hmm, this is Jupiter energy. So Jupiter represents like karma. Hmm. Someone wants to take action, have a new beginning with you here. <clears throat> Something could happen around fall season, which we're currently in fall. Hmm. Tell me about comfort zone. Yeah, it seems like someone has wanted to apologize for being a little too comfort. Hmm. Whoever this is, they're definitely clingy to you. We have cycles. Yeah, this cycle has close between you and this person. Then we have rebirth, winter card here. So there's going to be like a rebirth during this winter season. This is like transformation. The cycle between you and this person is closed. And they're hoping that you guys can revitalize this relationship during the season, the winter season. Hmm. But someone was in their ego and pride and there caused the relationship to be stale. They avoided you in some way, shape, or form. Yep. They avoided this divine feminine. Wow. Tell me about action beginnings. New beginnings and actions. So that's the Ace of Wands. The truth is they want to have a new passion to beginning with you. What is action? Me what I need to see. Tell me about action. Thank you. Yep, there's someone from your past. Six of Cups energy with nostalgia memories. Someone is wanting to reconcile. Yeah, someone wants to reconcile. Who? This masculine. This masculine wants to reconcile with this feminine energy. Mm. 
This person, whoever this masculine is, is needing to tap into their higher self. Connect with the cosmos. Yeah, they needed to face their shadow self. The dark night of the soul. They need to find their purpose. Hmm. During the summertime, whoever this masculine is, is going to go through some type of spiritual growth. Yeah, they're going to go through like a breakthrough after there has been a long separation. Yeah, someone here is going to want to have another opportunity with you, but a lot of you guys are very guarded. Yeah, towards having a new beginning, renewing this relationship with this person because you know your self-worth. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so tell me about what is this comfort zone energy? Tell me about this comfort zone energy when it comes to a policy. Hmm. Tell me more about comfort zone. It seems like someone is realizing that they were a little too clean or they got a little too comfortable. Yeah, the past. The past, lack and suffering. This is someone who's missing you. They're suffering without you. Yeah, they want to communicate. Mm -hmm. A lot of you guys have been very detached from this person. You've been being really cold towards them, not saying anything. And they're in a lot of guilt, remorse, and regret. Tell me more about action, and then I'm going to grab some tarot, guys. Wow. Mm. Action. <laughs> All the cards want to come out. Tell me about action. This person here is missing you. Yep. And they want to re rebirth this situation. Yeah. Look at their assistance and spirit guides, celebration, and abundance. This person knows that you're their gift. You are a blessing from the most high. They want to take action to do so. And I feel like their spirit guides is pushing them to have this new beginning with you. This person may need a little bit of assistance to come towards you. Yeah. You guys have a contract together. Yep. You had a separation, distance. This person's going through a wake-up call. Yeah. This person may be dealing with some type of karma right now until debt do its part. So you guys have some type of uh, contract between each other. Soulmate contract, twin flame contract. And they're having a wake-up call ever since you guys have separated. There's distance between you and them. Yeah. Yeah, someone wants to reunite. Reunite with this divine feminine. Seem like someone tried to control them or either they're trying to control the narrative of how you guys come back together and renew the spark. Yeah. Someone wants to reject, wants to not reject. Someone wants to renew things, reunite with this divine feminine, this masculine. There has been a separation. But maybe both of you guys were trying to control the narrative of the situation between you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. So let's get some terror on this. This person is suffering without you. They are. This is someone from your past. Tell me more. Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me more about this energy. All right. Tell me more about this. Wow, the Queen of Swords flipped out crossing. So you don't know for sure whether you want to be guarded towards this person or whether you don't. You're not sure if you really want to open up to them or not. Mm. Yeah, you may feel like this person is a karmic. Yeah, you're not sure how you want to proceed with this person when it comes to this apology. You're not sure, but right now a lot of you guys may have this person blocked from coming back to you or even reconciling with you. Yeah. You may feel like this person is very cold, very selfish. There was a separation break up here and you are in the energy of protecting yourself. You don't know how to feel about this person, whether you should cut them out, whether you should not, whether you should talk to them. Yeah. The death card. Someone doesn't want this to be over with you. Oh. 
they don't know for they don't want this to be over see they're getting assistance from their spirit guide this person could be working on becoming in their higher self they may be still this is seem like in that card in between worlds like they're slowly but surely coming out of this dark phase being a karmic into um a more higher vibration a divine masculine divine feminine but i'm also getting you're not sure how you want to handle this person either four of pentacles hmm this person is hoping that you can let go of what has happened between you guys or possibly you're in the energy of letting this person go because you feel like this person was juggling you with other people other options choices but whoever this is they want to come back and fight for this relationship here they're very unhappy without you they could be dealing with a karmic person who they could have chose over you and they're not happy in that situation yeah they're not happy if that's the case tell me more and of course take what resonates leave what doesn't okay you also may feel as though this person is not going to change either king of pentacles hmm Why is this King of Pentacles here? Who's this? You may feel like this person is very selfish. They're all about money, their status, cars, what they have. Hmm. They could have put a job situation over you. Yep. Someone here who's a masculine. So there's a masculine here that could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or an Aries. Yeah, you may feel like this person is a karmic here. This person, they are wanting to communicate with you. They can't sleep. They're restless. They want to come towards you and clarify some things, but this is someone who disappointed you. Hmm. While I'm getting like, this is someone who's kind of lost. They're fighting some inner battles within themselves. They're a little confused. They seem like this is someone who made foolish decisions. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could have put a job or finances over the relationship. This person can be like controlling. They may not be a, exactly a narcissist, but they may have the narcissist traits. And see this celebration card that came out. And the Ace of Pentacles, this person knows that you're a blessing. You are a blessing from the Most High. There's a lot of abundance that comes with your energy, the Divine Feminine. Mm. Yeah, see, Queen of Pentacles, yeah. See, the thing is, you guys are not on the same frequency. That's a lot of hurt here. And I really feel like this person understands the reason why you close the cycle with them as well. I really feel like they understand. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is that here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this may be an earth sign. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles. Excuse me. <laughs> Nine of Cups. You may feel like this person is very egotistical, prideful. The Wheel of Fortune. It seems like it's all about money with this person. But something is about to change here when it comes to this relationship. This person wants to start over, have a new beginning with this relationship, heal things. Right now, yeah, I feel like this person is battling with a lot within themselves. Inner demons that possibly has nothing to do with you. Hmm. I keep seeing the seven of cups. I don't know if this person is living in some type of fantasy world or they were putting other things before you. Possibly something to do with a third party, three of cups, that they could have been hiding from you. Someone here could have been married or something like that. Or either this is your energy you're not giving to this person anymore because they're not making you happy. Or this person could have been married to a karmic female. Hmm. 
What is this? Uh, what's the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Thank you. Seven of Swords. See, the reason why you let this person go because you feel like they're they're up to no good. That's why that comfort zone is here. This person got a little too comfortable in their energy within their soft node. They cling to something or someone that was not of their highest good. Yeah, you guys could have been married or living together or whatever it was. You lost something stable that you have with this person. And you're trying to heal from that. Hmm. Wow. Tell me more, spirit. Something is about to come back around. Or however things happen between you and this person was supposed to happen that way. But I'm seeing all these pentacles. So it's something about money, careers, establishments. The tower. Ooh. We have the tower, Scorpio energy. Hmm. For some reason, I'm feeling like you think this is very selfish of this person to want to come back around and give you really nothing with this page of pentacles. You feel like what they have to offer you is bullshit, to be honest. Hmm. Tell me more. But there, it seems like they, they're wanting to reconcile, but I don't feel like you, you don't think too highly of this person. It's almost like you're feeling breadcrumbed. All right. So we have the King of Swords and the Devil in the reverse. Yeah. Someone here is definitely an earth sign. They want to rush in and talk to you. To kind of like prove to you that they're not toxic anymore. See, yeah, there's a karmic around this person. A queen of cups in reverse. That they were acting out of their pride and ego with. So this is why this person could have been holding back from you. Because they were out here wild and out here. But see, they're not happy with who they chose over you. And now they wanted to come back to this earth angel. They wanted to come back and heal. Yeah, they're not happy with whoever this other karmic energy could be. Yeah. But see, the past, the energy and the experience that you have with this person, it wasn't enjoyable. Yeah, so this is why you're blocking them out. Hmm. Yeah, this person stirred up a lot of confusion that was hiding. They were hiding the fact that they were dealing with someone else. Yeah. This queen of pentacles. Yeah, it's a karmic here. But if they want to come back around, they're going to have to let that situation go. Or otherwise, you're not going to open up. Yeah, someone here is a cheater. Someone cheated. And they're reaping what they sow. Wow. Jesus Christ. Wow. This is crazy. It's almost like this person's going to have to do better if they want you back in their life. Something is falling apart. What is the tower? Whatever that foundation, possibly what they have, this karmic person that they could have been juggling you with, that wasn't a solid foundation. This is not where they're supposed to be. What's the tower? Hmm. Oh, wow. Three of Wands. This person's being, yeah, they're going through some, some tarot moments right now in their life. They're being blocked from you because they dealt with a third party. Yeah, they hid this from you. Yep. <laughs> Queen, yeah, someone got with a third party here. A low vibrational uh, female energy that they feel stuck with. They built their relationship with that. But that situation's not working out. That's why they're kind of dragging their feet to come towards you. Yeah, this is an earth sign here. They ghosted you, and now they want to come back around and heal. Virgo energy. Now they're trying to find a way to come towards you after they lied and cheated. They're being blocked from you. They're reaping what they sow. Because they caused a separation, being reckless, acting a damn fool out here, acting out a pride of ego. But all of this is going to happen in divine timing here. Yeah. Yeah. So it's crazy because they're wanting to apologize. 
seemed like to me for getting a little too comfortable in dealing with their parties and other people, they started clinging to their low vibrational self. And now this cycle has closed, but now they want to rebirth things. They're suffering without you, going through tarot moments, knowing that you were the blessing the whole time, and now they're ready to express their truth to you, take action. But it seems like they're needing help from the spirit guides to get through this. They cannot stop thinking about you. They cannot. And see, that's why they want to rush in. But spirit is blocking this person until they get themselves up out of this unhealthy relationship or situation. What is this change? What's the Wheel of Fortune? And of course, guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? This is definitely a masculine. This person is too deceptive. Too sneaky. It's like now they're in a lot of regret that they got themselves up in that situation. Yeah. What happened or, that's, or what's currently happening with this person was fated to happen. And now they're knowing that coming towards you is going to be a risk. Knowing that they didn't make things easy for you. They could have manipulated the whole situation. It was a little difficult for no reason. Now they want to talk to you about working things out after they walked away from you and chose someone else. Gave their energy to someone else. Put you in competition. This is crazy. This is crazy. So this, yeah, this is like someone's karma. What they're going through. Yep. Why is the Queen of Swords crossing, Spirit? Why is that here? Why is the Queen of Swords crossing? Uh oh. What flipped over? Where did it go? Okay. Hold on. Oh, sorry, guys. No, that was a little loud. All right, one more shuffle. This person got themselves up in some shit. <laughs> Basically, what is the Queen of Swords? Why is that crossing spirit? Oops, I'll flip the cards. This is why you let this person go. They abuse their power. They're not in a divine masculine. Four swords. At one point, I feel as though you were on the fence whether you wanted to cut this person out of your life or whether you still wanted to hear what they had to say. Yeah. But you're realizing that you are this divine empress. You deserve better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're going to keep yourself open to new love. You have some time to sit back and think about your decisions. You're like, I don't... Your energy is... I don't need this person. They made their choice. They had to lay in their bed, you know, the mistakes they made. This is not my divine twin flame. I'm no longer giving to this person. I'm ready to meet someone new. I'm going to take action and keep myself separated here. Give up on this relationship. Let the past be the past. Free my mind of this situation because I'm ready for new love to come into my life. I'm going to be patient and wait on the Lord until that new person come into my life. Because this person is a waste of my time and I need to close the cycle. Yeah. Even though this is a painful decision, but... It is what it is. This person is definitely stalking and watching you. Yeah. Now they want to come back. Now that it's the energy of now. Usually when someone when someone sees that you're not when someone realizes that you're not chasing them, now they want to come back. Now that you're single, independent, pre empress energy, you don't need the ass now. You're not fighting for this anymore. You're not trying to move things forward. You're not giving them any attention. You are just divine feminine energy. You're loving on yourself. You're not communicating. You already found out what you need to find out. Whatever secrets you needed to know, it was revealed. And now you're moving on and working on yourself. Yep. And you're starting a new beginning. Even though this situation broke your heart, this person left you out in the cold. But this was someone who wasn't committed anyway. So continue to heal. Reject this person if they come back around. Yeah. This this person played themselves. Yeah. They played themselves out of a, a beautiful situation. They really did. So don't blame yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. Everything that's going on with this person, everything was destined and meant to happen the way it did. It was. It was destined and meant to way that happen the way it did. There may have been nights, evenings, times you go to bed, you sit back and think about this person, think about the situation, and your mind is like, should I block them out? Should I not? But this person wasn't faithful to you. That's why the cycle closed. Mm-hmm. 
They want to come back. They want to reconcile during this winter season, but I feel like the universe is blocking this person. You are this divine empress. First of all, this person came out in the emperor in the reverse. You guys are not even on the same frequency. This person tried to control the narrative. And this is why you guys have distance now. Mm -hmm. This person could be going through some type of karmic debt right now. Yeah. All right, Collective, this is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next reading. Bye-bye.